The Samsung Galaxy S23 series marked a significant shift for the tech giant by introducing the same flagship chipset, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, across all regions. This decision was well received as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 was considered superior and fine-tuned for Samsung's devices. However, with the introduction of the more advanced and expensive Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, built on the 3 nanometer process, rumors suggest that Samsung might return to offering two versions of its flagship phones, one with its in-house Exynos 2400 chipset and another featuring the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. In the past, Samsung divided its Exynos and Snapdragon variants by region, such as providing Qualcomm's chipset to the US and using its Exynos chips for Europe. But according to a reputable leaker tech underscore rev mentioned by TechRadar, there's a possibility that Samsung is considering a different approach for the release of the Galaxy S24 series. Specifically, the company is reportedly discussing the idea of equipping all models of the Galaxy S24 series with the Exynos 2400 chipset, while offering the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 exclusively in the Galaxy S24 Plus and Galaxy S24 Ultra models. Adding to this, Korean news outlets have been reporting on Samsung's success in manufacturing 4 nanometer chipsets, which could support the traditional region-based strategy for the Galaxy S24 lineup. However, the fact that Samsung is exploring an alternative approach showcases the company's willingness to consider different options. This glimpse into Samsung's decision-making process offers an intriguing perspective into the strategies of one of the most prominent phone manufacturers in the industry. The S24 series comes 8 gigs or 12 gigs of RAM capacity and 256 slash 512 gigs of storage and 1 TB of memory. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, which one region you buy, Snapdragon or Exynos? Let me know your thoughts about this. And I will love to hear your thoughts on this, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below.